Hi everyone, it's Schematic Matt, and today we are going to talk about the unpaired branches of abdominal aorta. When the aorta is already in the abdominal cavity, it is called the abdominal aorta, aorta abdominalis. The unpaired visceral branches of aorta are the celiac artery. The celiac artery is a short, thick artery rising at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebrae in the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm. It passes forward above the superior border of the pancreas, where it divides into three branches. First one is the common hepatic artery, Arteria hepatica communis, passes along the superior margin of the head of the pancreas to the superior border of the duodenum. Further, it continues as the proper hepatic artery, which lies between the two layers of the hepatoduodenal ligament and reaches the porta hepatis, where it divides into right and left branches, ramus dexter and ramus sinister. The right branch gives rise to an artery to the gallbladder, cystic artery. The common or proper hepatic artery gives off a branch of the lesser curvature of the stomach, right gastric artery. Arteria gastrica dextra, which stretches from right to left to meet left gastric artery. Arteria gastrica sinistra. The left gastric artery, arteria gastrica sinistra, extends to the lesser curvature of the stomach and gives off branches to the stomach and the abdominal part of the esophagus. The gastroduodenal artery is a terminal branch of the common hepatic artery, which passes behind the duodenum and divides into two branches. The superior pancreaticoduodenal artery, arteria pancreaticoduodenalis superior, and right gastromental artery, arteria gastromentalis, or in older text, arteria gastroepiploica dextra. And the last branch of the celiac artery is the splenic artery, arteria lienalis, which is the largest of the three terminal branches of the celiac trunk. It passes on the superior border of the pancreas to the spleen. At the spleen, it divides into 5 to 8 terminal branches. Along its course, the splenic artery gives off several branches before entering the hilum of the spleen. The distal part of the splenic artery gives off the short gastric arteries and the left gastroepiploic artery, also known as the left gastromental artery, arteria gastroepiploica sinistra which passes from the left to right on the greater curvature of the stomach and anastomosis with the right gastromental artery to form an arterial arch like the arch on the lesser curvature. Around the stomach, the four main arteries form an arterial ring which consists of two arches situated on the lesser curvature called the left and right gastric arteries and on the greater curvature called the left and right gastroepiploic arteries. Next unpaired visceral branch is the superior mesenteric artery, Arteria mesenterica superior, arises from the anterior surface of the aorta, directly below the celiac artery. The branches of the superior mesenteric artery are inferior pancreaticoduodenal artery, which pass to the right on the concave surface of the duodenum to meet the superior pancreaticoduodenal artery from gastroduodenal artery. Next are the intestinal arteries, 10 to 16 branches pass to the left to the jejunum and ileum. Next is the middle colic artery, arteria colica media, which divides into the right and left branches. The right branch anastomoses with right colic artery which is our next branch of superior mesenteric artery. The left branch anastomosis with left colic artery from inferior mesenteric artery. The right colic artery, arteria colica dextra, divides into two branches, an ascending branch, which rises to meet previously mentioned middle colic artery, and a descending branch, which descends to meet iliac colic artery. The iliocolic artery is the lowest branch arising from the concavity of the superior mesenteric artery. The iliocolic artery gives rise to the appendicular artery and anastomosis with the right colic artery. The inferior mesenteric artery, arteria mesenterica inferior, branches off on the level of the inferior edge of the third lumbar vertebrae and passes downward and slightly to the left. The branches of the inferior mesenteric artery are 
the left colic artery divides into two branches, an ascending branch, anastomosis with the middle colic artery from the superior mesenteric artery, and descending branch, anastomosis with the sigmoid artery. The sigmoid arteries, two or three in number, run obliquely downward and to the left. Anastomosis above with the left colic artery and below with the superior hemorrhoidal artery or the superior rectal artery. The superior rectal artery, superior hemorrhoidal artery, is a direct pelvic continuation of the inferior mesenteric artery. Superior rectal artery divides into two branches, which descend one on either side of the rectum.